calendar needs to be updated what is up everyone welcome back to the channel the blind here we are back in car mechanic sim uh it seems that you guys really like these videos um especially when i'm talking about mods so we're back in it again last time out we actually finished up this lamborghini super uh just pretty simple other than the fact that the engine is completely built on accident because i was showing you guys how to do and use the engine stand a lot of people seem to be pretty unanimous in saying that that engine stand is pretty helpful which it really is but yeah it came out really well we kept it it's here chilling at the garage now but we are looking at doing something else today also speaking of the mods um this just got updated in but we are now able to actually go into the office this is one of the things i really wanted to do um Ever since the game came out, I kind of was hoping that we'd be able to do anything in this space, honestly. Also, apologies, I do have some really bad allergies. I don't know why they're attacking me now in the middle, near summer, but they are. So uh, that's why I sound a little congested right now, um, if it's even noticeable. But either way, we are going to go ahead and hop into a car. I did have someone ask me to build a car I have in my garage, so let's go ahead and take a look. They asked... If I remember correctly for the f50 now it is the lore friendly version i just happen to have the uh real names for cars mod installed which is also on nexus uh very easy though i think you just drop in a file and it's just one singular file and so it kind of names all the uh, in-game cars to whatever they may be but yeah like i said so it's not an actual f50 it's the dlc actually that they brought in but uh, let's go ahead and bring it to the garage here. There it is. Oh, and it's in such rough shape, honestly. There's really nothing left of it. It is the uh, F50 GT, which is nice. We're going to go ahead and do a little bit of extra stuff to this one. Um, we may keep it white. I don't know. I've never been too big on white cars, I'll be honest. So we may change the color. But uh, let's go ahead and get this thing. Whoops, not painted. No, we're not painted. We're a little, it's a little far ahead there. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing washed up. Does it look a little bit better? Oh, it actually really cleaned up nice. Really did. All righty, we got it here up on the lift. Let's go ahead and get all the body panels off, which honestly probably not going to be a whole lot no not a whole lot that was literally just those three things all right now let's go ahead and get the engine out we're just going to go ahead and bloop. oh my god i gotta get the gearbox i'm doing it again let's see yeah i kind of forgot my mistake the last time around that this happened all right, now we can go ahead and get this out. Bloop. There we go. And uh, we're definitely going to utilize the engine stand mod again. So we probably, let's be honest, we really don't need that. I think it was just the block, <laughs> honestly. So we might as well just get something from scratch. Let's see. So it was the, that one. And I think it's the only version. There's nothing turbo or anything like that. So we'll go ahead and get that. And if I remember correctly, F9 is the standard stuff, which I'm going to just do standards. Actually, you know what? Because of the GT, we'll go full bore. We'll, we'll completely ball out here. That was an expensive freaking engine. Holy cow. Well, did you guys see that? It was 30 grand. Um, what I'll do is I'll probably just do a, a quick time lapse here. If you guys want to see this. Um... You'll, you'll still be able to if not it'll go by uh go by pretty fast and if you really don't want to see it you can definitely skip to the timestamp i'll put probably around here without further ado let's go ahead and build this engine
righty, we got the engine all taken care of. That didn't take much time at all, honestly. Uh, other than the fact that obviously it's a V12, but even so, I mean, that engine stand mod makes life so much easier. I did go ahead and paint that intake manifold. That awful gold was just disgusting. I was not going to let that sit there. I had to do red. I kind of want to go back and make it a bit brighter, but honestly, I'm not too bothered by it. Uh, we'll just leave that there for now. Now what we just need to do is go ahead and fix all of this, um, which uh, I may actually go through and paint some of these parts. Um, not a whole lot. I'll probably just keep it simple. Uh, nothing too crazy, uh, but we'll see how I feel about it. Um, so... In regards with that, I'll see you guys here in a second because this is pretty boring. Uh, I'll see you guys once it's all taken care of. Okay, um, I'm not done with the uh, apologies again. I, I sound really congested now. Holy cow. But uh, I'm not done with a car just yet in terms of suspension. However, if anyone realizes that I somehow managed to figure out how to make the brake caliper solid, um... So I was trying to use the chroming tool to try and do that, which is that's exactly how it looks like when you're using the chroming tool for, which is with the QOL mod. Uh, when you're doing chroming and you make it solid, it looks like that. However, when you go to bolt it on, it's either just chrome or just like a standard yellow. And I'll show you here. I'll get, again, it'll look like this, right? And I'll go to try and figure out which one I need. Not that one. Not that one. And then I'll find that chrome one, right? And I'm guessing as soon as you get the chrome one, you can pick any of the other ones that are painted, right? I wouldn't say go back to the chrome one, but pick any of the other ones. And I guess it'll go, yeah, to that solid color. So now I've been able to figure out how to get it to that. Because I know people have issues trying to get it to that. Because you obviously, the brake calipers for whatever reason are really dark when you paint them. No matter how bright you paint them, they always look dark. And so you can never get them really, really bright. I don't know why it's got to be so complicated like that. But I guess that's how it works. Very interesting as far as how you got to go about it. But very simple once you get the hang of it. But uh, yeah, uh, you can kind of see how the car is looking. We got almost all red suspension with the yellow calipers. However, you may not expect the color I go with. But uh, I'll see you guys once I'm ready to put this the wheels on and we're ready to roll this car into paint. Alrighty guys, I finally got it all taken care of. We're all set, everything looks good. Even got the engine in there, looking all good. We are finally good to go and go ahead and get the wheels on so we can roll this thing into paint and uh, I kind of went a little subtle with the wheels I didn't try anything too crazy <laughs> holy cow in the span of I don't know I've been working on this car for about an hour now in the span of an hour my allergies have just gotten worse I don't understand how that happens you probably can hear the difference uh, since I started this video <laughs> This whole recording session. Oh my goodness. I'm kind of looking forward to finishing this just so I can actually go and get some rest in terms of sleeping it off, all the allergies, because it's just horrible. I hope any of you out there don't have to deal with it because you're lucky. It, it's, it's horrible. It, no matter how much allergy medicine or how often I take it, it always comes back. As soon as I miss one day, it, it's back and it, it's horrible. Oh, that kind of sucks that the, the wheels kind of cover up the caliper. And we did all that work. Oh, well. Hopefully, we should still be able to see it. I mean, it's better than if we hadn't, if you think about it. But, uh, yeah, those look pretty close. Um, I just wish the spokes were a bit thinner, but not a lot of the wheels in this game are, you know, very forgiving. But uh, let's go ahead and finally get all the body panels on. I did get all the F50 GT uh, specific ones as well starting to look like an actual car though look at that i do wish i had gone with a bigger wheel maybe in the back it's a little small back there anyway let's go ahead and move this into the paint booth all righty so i know some of you are probably going to want to keep the white 
or tell me to keep the white. Some of you are probably telling me to make it red because obviously it's a Ferrari. But again, I kind of wanted to try something here. We'll see how it works. Let's see. And you might yell at me, but it's actually pretty basic. I kind of want to just do a black. Honestly, I kind of wanted to do black with the yellow calipers and the dark gray wheels. I think this thing would look super mean. And oh crap, I forgot to fix the body. We'll go ahead and do that once we get back. Dang it, I meant to go do that before I put on the bonnie panels. Um, But yeah, let's see black. Now there was another color I wanted to try. There we go. What do we think on that color? I think it goes great with the yellow calipers, honestly. And I kind of really wanted to stick with the black, but I'm really digging this blue. I really, really am. Yeah, I think that'll work for sure. Let's see, yeah, that's looking really, really good. I think I couldn't have gone wrong with the blue, uh, the black, but uh, the blue really pops on this car. All the curves and the lines really make it pop. Alrighty, now that we're pretty much done there. Oh, did I never get the suspend the interior out? I'm kind of surprised at that. Let's see, let's go ahead and get those out. And uh, let's mess with some QOL mod here with you guys. Interior wise, we do have some pretty good seats. We do have some red ones here already. And that's kind of what I want to go with. I want to go with some red seats. Yeah, let's try the uh, that Porsche seat. This one right here. We'll get two of these. Can we paint them? Let's see. Well, the question, the answer is yes, we can paint them. Can we paint them in the way we want to is the question. All right. So right now we can't paint them. Uh, we can paint everything. We can do a mixed option, which we might do that. Mix two, which is that little bit down there or the uh seat belt holes we'll go ahead and do this let me go ahead and drop the brightness though there we go all right let's see if these fit hopefully 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 survey says normal mode they're a little low but i mean all things considered they don't fit too terrible i think they work just fine i mean they look really good in there and then uh let's get a good steering wheel let's see um we want to get like a vintage wheel for sure not a uh nothing with an airbag because uh we don't like safety there we go awesome we got that all taken care of and again guys i apologize i know i might be probably rushing this video and i might be uh you know everywhere in terms of what i'm talking about or what i'm doing but just bear with me I, again it's the allergies and i am recording this at 1 30 in the morning so do bear with me uh, i definitely want to get this video out for you guys especially the person that uh requested this car which I had no problem doing. I love the way this car looks. So uh, anytime I get to mess with a, an exotic or a Ferrari in this game, I'm all down for it. So uh, I think all we need is the odds and ends in terms of the taillights and the glass on this car. And we are all good to go. And then here we go. All right. He got everything exterior wise done. Wow. This thing looks really, really good. And uh, I think with that, we are actually done. It just needs fluids. Let's see. Oh, a starter. I always forget the dang starter. Try to hurry up and completely forget it. But uh, yeah, once I get this starter in, uh, I'll meet you guys at the dyno and see what kind of numbers our new F50 GT puts down. Alrighty, guys, we're here in the dyno now again. Uh, before we go ahead and actually hit start, we do have a tuning gearbox or uh, a tuned gearbox aftermarket. I'm gonna start saying aftermarket. I don't normally say tuned. I know the game calls them tuned, but I just say aftermarket. I have an aftermarket gearbox in here. Let's go ahead and set up the gear ratios. Uh, six, of course. We want all the top speed. 
And then we do have an aftermarket ECU and again, you just spam all of them uh, except for the last one until you get these all pretty even. Apply, which I didn't even apply my gearbox. It's always wonderful to keep forgetting that. Uh, there, I don't even know what would really be good. It's not like I actually drive the darn thing after I'm done with them because let's be honest, they're usually pretty undrivable. Uh, can I open the door before I do this? Man, it looks good in there. I really wish we could actually drive it with some decent mechanics and physics, but uh, this game's not really for that. It's mostly for building. Oh my God, I am slurring everything. I need to hurry up and get this video done. <laughs> Alrighty, place your bets. What do you guys think it's gonna do power-wise? After the uh, Huracan with Huracan, Huracan. Oh, it's really, really bad. After the Gallardo, uh, I'm willing to say maybe we're going to get 980, 950, maybe? I'm, I'm putting my money on 970, around there, 950, 980. If anything more, I will be pretty surprised. Oh my god, look at the car just squat. Oh, it sounds like such a good old time V12. Holy cow. Okay. Wow. 1100 horsepower. We doubled more than doubled our original numbers. That is crazy. Get this thing out in the sun. There we go. Can I open this clamshell? I can. Let's go ahead and get this thing exploded here. I probably should do that more often, huh? Actually open them up once I'm done. Gonna give a good tour of it. But man, it actually came out a lot better than I expected. I really was aiming for that black, but after seeing the blue, especially with the red seats, I think this came out really well. I hope you guys enjoy the way this car came out. How would you have done it? What color would you have chosen? Uh, would you have kept the white or would you have gone with red? You know, let me know. I really kind of, I'm curious if, you know, how you guys would have finished this car up. I know the blue and red is not for everyone. Um, for me, it definitely works. Uh, especially because I know these cars, especially like the uh, track focused Ferraris, usually always almost had red, uh, you know, Alcantara seats. So to find a color that would have fit really well with the red is was a must in my head. So that's why I was aiming for like a black. I was thinking of yellow, but uh, mostly the black and blue. And uh, I wanted to try blue just to be a little bit different. And sure enough, it really, really worked, especially with the yellow calipers. Those yellow calipers, I'll be honest, were mostly for the black. Uh, I didn't think about the blue until after I uh, I put the wheels on. And just a quick look after the whole thing is done. I just wanted to go and show you the uh, shocks. We kind of went with like a silver with red springs just to kind of match everything, tie everything together. Nothing too crazy. No multicolor or anything like that. Just went with, with the solid red. Obviously the yellow calipers uh, just to kind of throw in some pop in there. But uh, yeah, it looks completely good. Much better than the way it looked before when it came in. I mean, if you guys remember how horrible it looked there was literally nothing left i think i had to buy everything brand new for this car body panels suspension even the engine i mean that was completely brand new you guys saw it was like 30 grand the body panels alone i think probably matched that so this car was not cheap um there is a car that i want to build for next video so next video will not be a suggestion video but i will try to get to one soon Alrighty guys, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I apologize for, you know, me being kind of all over the place and really struggling to get to the end of this video. Uh, hopefully I'll feel better for the next one. Uh, I just really wanted to get this video out to you guys. Uh, you guys have been killing it with the views lately and all the subs. Uh, keep commenting. I have no problem commenting and responding to everyone. You know, I really appreciate it. It means the world to me that especially these videos are the ones that are getting the traction. Because I really enjoy this game. I mean, you guys ask for it. I will continue to put these videos out. No problem whatsoever. Oh, oh, oh. Before I do that, 
I know a lot of you probably want to see this, and I don't think I did it with the Gallardo. Um, how much we actually get? So the Gallardo, we got 144,000 in profit. Um, I don't remember exactly how much I spent for this car originally. I know it usually tells me here. We spent 19,000, and look at all the performance parts and stuff. Usually, I'm actually gonna calculate it myself how much we started and ended ended with over here. Because these numbers usually aren't correct. But 400,000. I mean, we definitely were not at 1.5 when we started. I, if I remember correctly, we probably were at like 1, 2, 1, 3. So uh, this car made us a little bit of money. That's if I decide to sell it. Um, I probably won't right away for sure. I really like the way this came out. It's starting to, starting to get to me a little. So uh, I, I think I might keep it around for a bit. But uh, yeah, like I said, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody.